So disconnection from the 5008S machines. So we have sanitized our hands and we're gonna to wanna to open our supplies onto a clean blue pad. We have two pre-filled 10 milliliter saline syringes. We have a package of sodium citrate that contains two syringes. We have our sterile four by four gauze and four chlorhexidine glutamate swabs. So whenever the machine shows you this message saying treatment goal achieved, we're gonna wanna put on our clean gloves and put our sterile four by four gauze underneath the lumens, the catheter. Now we can go ahead and scrub the outside of the lumens using one swab per lumen. So once you're ready to disconnect, you're going to want to go ahead and hit start under the reinfusion heading. So now it's telling us to connect to a saline solution. So we're going to clamp the two clamps on the arterial bloodline and the, the lumen. And we're going to disconnect the bloodline from the tag of cap. And connect the arterial bloodline to the Y port on the saline line. So we're going to take that cap off. Again, making sure we don't touch any connections. And we're going to open the saline roller clamp as well as the arterial bloodline clamp and hit OK under the start reinfusion. So at this point you can see that it's rinsing back your blood, you're infusing saline, and you're looking for your bloodline to turn watermelon in color. So once the bloodline is watermelon, we're going to go ahead and stop the machine. And we're going to want to take a blood pressure just to ensure that it is stable before disconnection. If your blood pressure is low or you're feeling unwell, you're going to want to infuse more saline. Okay, and for the sake of training, blood pressure is stable. So we're going to go ahead and scrub the Tego connector on the arterial lumen. So you're going to want to get this done as soon as possible because you don't want blood sitting in that lumen. I'm going to grab a 10 mil saline syringe, removing air bubbles. Since our blood pressure was stable, we can go ahead and remove our venous bloodline. So we're going to clamp two blue clamps. Let's connect our bloodline. Come over and attach the venous bloodline to our transducer. Once the machine doors are closed, you can go ahead and hit remove bloodlines. to remove bloodlines and we can go back and finish off our catheter here. So opening our other more hexidine gluconate swab, we we'll scrub the tip of the tego. 30 friction scrubs. Got our 10 mil pre-filled saline syringe, remove air bubbles. Syringe upright, flush turbulently. Grab a sodium citrate syringe, also called Citraflow. And we're going to remove any excess.
excess amount. So if your lumens are 1.9, you're going to want to put two mils of the locking solution in your lumens. So perfect. So with the sodium citrate, you want to instill it with positive pressure. So that means pushing in and clamping as quick as possible. So we can repeat on the venous lumen. It's a good idea to leave that syringe attached so you remember which one you've done. And again, removing all air bubbles and pushing out until we only have two mils left in the syringe. Then you can go ahead and remove the syringes. 